Hello, and welcome to the All Home Health Pavilio training video. Today, I'll be going over how to clock in and clock out in the Pavilio app. You'll start by pulling up the Pavilio app and logging in. Once logged in, it'll take you to the dashboard. Your dashboard should look like this. You should have your initials up at the top, and it'll say upcoming visits. To clock in, you'll want to select the My Clients tab on the very bottom. If you have multiple clients, they will display here. But for the training purposes, I'll be using the EVV test client. To clock in, simply hit clock in. It'll ask to uh, select your service that you're providing, whether it be personal care assistant, homemaking, IHS, or others. Sometimes if you only have one service that you'll be providing, it'll have that already selected for you. For training purposes, I will select per personal care assistant. After that, it'll ask for the service clock in location. That should be the client's address and it should already be saved. All you'll have to do is hit the drop down arrow and select it. Now you can hit clock in. You'll know if you successfully clocked in because you'll see a timer going up on the top right. If you see that timer, you're on the clock. You can feel free to back out of the app, do whatever, and then when it comes to clocking out, you'll pull the app back up. You can disregard the end time because that will automatically put the time in for you once you clock out. In order to clock out, you must select your activities that you performed, such as bathing, dressing, eating, grooming, etc. I will select bathing and dressing. Next, you'll see a notes section. In order to submit time, you must have something written in the notes section. Most people just write NA, unless you have something worth noting. Underneath that, it'll ask for your signature. I always recommend people to just initial it because sometimes the signature boxes can be a little finicky. After that, it'll ask for the client signature, the responsible party, or non available. If the client is with you and they approve time on your device, they will sign below and they will also have a pin. In order to sign off on your device, the client will need a PIN. If they do not know the PIN, please call the agency and request that we send a PIN. In order for a PIN to be sent, the client will need a valid email address. If you have a responsible party and they sign off on your, on your device, same rule applies. In order to get the responsible party PIN, the responsible party would need to download the Pavilio app and they can go about resetting their PIN through the app. Now for all clients and responsible parties that have the app and go about approving time using the app, you would select non-available. What that does is that gets rid of the signature box underneath your signature, which means that when you clock out and hit submit, it'll send that shift to their device, their phone or computer, for them to approve. So I'm going to hit clock out. It'll ask for me to confirm the client's address. Once selected, you'll simply just hit OK. And then lastly, you'll want to make sure you hit submit. You always want to make sure you hit submit. If you hit cancel or save, the shift will not be submitted and the signatures will have to be re-input. Re Time sheet has been successfully submitted. In order to check and confirm that the shift has been submitted, you can select View Details. And then once that loads, you'll select View Visit Entries. 
and that will show any shifts that you've submitted and whether they're approved or unapproved. Since I selected not available, as in it would send that shift to the client's phone and nobody has signed off on it, you'll see that my shift is in unapproved. To get the details and see the times, you can just select view details. And this will show the start time, end time, and the date, as well as the service that you provided. I hope that you found this video helpful and feel free to please contact All Home Health if you have any questions.